Okay, now we are going to show the operation of the S-Hand butt welding machine. In that case, we are talking the 1.5 meter machine. The first thing we need to do uh, in order to weld correctly according to DVS is to find out what kind of material are you using, uh, what thickness, what lengths, and then you need to do a very simple calculation in order to have the right welding force. It's always thickness times length times specific welding pressure, that's the welding force. But in order to do this manual welding, we need to divide the welding force, which we have calculated by 90 millimeter. In that case, we have now for 1000 millimeter length and 10 millimeter thickness times 0 0.15 welding force, it's 1500 millimeter, for, sorry, 1500 newton meter divided by 19. That means we need to have 19 so, sorry, 17 millimeter uh, welding uh, pressure on the spring. So now the first thing we need to do is we need to have a gap between the tables, between both tables of the thickness of the material we are going to weld. Second thing is after adjusting it to this small gap is the correct clamping. So now you can see that the clamping is of the material is from the left hand side to the right hand side of the table now and important is that the clamping is done correctly from the left hand side to the right hand side so that means that you have the same pressure from left to right and you don't need to have a too hard clamping So, secondly, you see the gap is now 20 millimeters. That means we have added another 10 millimeter in that case of a gap. And now the right plate sheet is now clamped correctly against the left sheet. And you do the same correct clamping on the right hand bar. So, make sure it's parallel. And then after that, the welding starts. So, he's opening now the right table. Is moving up the heater, the 220, sorry, the 210 degrees, and now he's applying on the spring exactly the 17 millimeter. You can see it now here on the scale. That's the 17, correct? That means now we are applying 1500 newton meter of welding force by the transmission of the spring inside the welding machine. And uh, now the first thing at about 50-60 seconds is alignment time. So that means we align the material all the way through. We heat it all the way through. That's about 50-60 seconds in that case. You can see it on the table. Okay, I guess we have about the 50-60 seconds reached. Now we are going down with the spring pressure, as you can see here now. And at the same time, we are starting the countdown time. So now we are heating up the material for about 100 seconds, but again with a lower welding force. The force, the scale is now adjusted to only about two millimeter instead of 17, so that's about 10% of it. And again, it's locked by this lock over here. So the wheel is locked to the pressure or to the scale of two millimeters right now. And we are just heating the material now up. We are heating it all the way through for about 100 seconds. And after the 100 seconds, the heater, of course, will go down again. Well, you need to put it down manually and then you apply again your 17 millimeter spring pressure for the full cooling time. Okay, now it's the time. You switch it off. Okay, you first open it and now heater down and now you apply the pressure again and again up to you lock it at 17 millimeter 
and that's basically now the welding time or actually it's the cooling time as well so now in that case we need to wait for 16 minutes correctly in order to correctly weld uh, both materials both sheets together and then it's welded according to DVS okay then the first thing you do you release the pressure about the clamping on both sides first you open the clamping bars in order to release the pressure okay. all right and now we're going to open the spring okay and then we remove the workpiece and uh, we can also remove now with a remover here the weld bead on both sides but that 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 is much much harder if you wait the 16 minutes now it's very hard to remove it then you might need it a milling machine but anyway you can see it's now more or less perfectly welded all the way through but again normally you need to wait a 16 minutes cooling time before you unclamp it and take it out